my lord. To be sure, to be sure. We're having an Irish evening, so we are. Even you're talking your Irish accent. You've got a proper Irish accent. Which is nearly as good as mine. First, I wonder. Hey? Who was first? Something's happening. It keeps working now. I know. It's Something's the... gone. I think the key is not doing anything. <laughs> well, guess who's first on the Irish night? Who? Stephen Johnston. Hooray! Your Northern Iron fan club is first. <laughs> that's if this is to be believed. Up the Irish. Yeah, that's what it says. Followed by Maggie Peach and Sarah oh. Ann, John Nichols, Andrew Whiteley, James Squires. Jackie Kirby, top of the morning to you, Jackie. <laughs> and the rest of the day to yourself. <laughs> Evening, says Patrick Jervis. Patrick sounds very Irish, doesn't he? He does. With a name like Patrick. He's got the most Irish name. He has. Well, I've got, I'm, I'm a Kathleen. That's very Irish. I'll take you home again, Kathleen. That's what you think. <laughs> we're home already. There's lots of people in. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're good. Timothy Kirby said he loves a bit of the Irish. We got it's all Irish tonight. Yeah. Tom Curran said not me, but hello. Kate Hill's watching. Isn't Curran an Irish name? Curran. It sounds like it, doesn't I it? I think it is. It sounds like an Irish racehorse. Horse. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And riding Tom Curran. I can't think of a jockey. I'm not saying anything to that. I'm not saying anything to that at all. think of it. Let's have the highlights. Come on, come on. Right, tonight we got the Water Boys. We got the Pogues. We got a bit of Tin Lizzy. And we've got, sorry Sue, Daniel O'Donnell. Nobody can argue with that, can they? We love Daniel O'Donnell. Do we? Yes. In what way? Because he's a nice man. Is he? Yes. We saw the picture, didn't we? Last week, Susan Bowman said she had a picture of her and Daniel O'Donnell on the dressing table, on the sideboard, on the bedside cabinet. It's there. Good job Joe's not jealous, isn't it? We put it, uh, when we uploaded last week's live stream to YouTube, we put the photo that Sue sent us um, in the live stream. So if you look in on, on near the end it is of last week's live stream on the YouTube channel, you can see Sue with Daniel O'Donnell. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's a lovely photo, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Right, so we got a little Irish medley to start off with tonight. Yeah. This has got a key change and everything, straight away. Yes. So if you're Irish, come into the cellar. Yeah. A song about a rascal. Is it? It's a song about an Irish rascal. Is it really? <laughs> I've never thought about what it's about. Yeah. Oh, the second one is. Yes. Bulged on the hill. In the medley. Oh, yeah. In the medley. Yes, it's um, O'Donoghue. Yes, he's a bit of a ladies' man, I think. Well, there you go. James Squire's <laughs> telling us about his Irish history here. I'm sure you can all see that on there. Right, we're going we're gonna to go for... If you're Irish, come into the parlour yeah. and a bit of Bolger Donahue, a bit yes. of rollicking. Yes, indeed. Yeah, let's do it. Let's lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes, this is a good, if you want to get up and have a, an arm swing hoolie around the, the living room, this is the one to do it to. Oh, well. <laughs> Don't really like our bunting, eh? No expense spared. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I just have rock. <laughs> yeah. Right, here we go. Two, three, four. Right. 
in the cabin tonight yeah in the cabin club yes yeah. in liverpool <laughs> stephen johnson said great version of bowden on hugh Thank i haven't you. heard that for years yes yeah we're very irish tonight we had a few requests we had a request for claire to hear which we'll do next and we had a request for some thin lizzie everything's kind of irish tonight all the all the kind of quiz things i've got an air irish lilt please ah oh, see so the word of the week. It was a toss-up this week. <laughs> you can't say that. Can we have a toss-up? Yes. Word, can we have two words of the week? Well, it's up, you're in charge. Am I in charge? You are. Let's have two words of the week, because I couldn't choose. So the first word is ostentatious. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's in the song we're going to play tonight. Anybody has been to see us over the last year or will be watching this will maybe know that. Ostentatious. And the other word is Brigadoon. <laughs> it's not very Irish, is no. it? No. No, but it's in an Irish band song. No. Is it? They were kind of Scottish Irish, weren't they, the Water Boys? Yeah. They were a bit of each. Celtic. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> no need to get like that. <laughs> I was just, just going to say cheers, everybody. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm too busy working. Of course you are. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yeah. Philip, Philippa said anything by Van the Man. Mm. Oh, we put one up today, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. 
Right, here's the first note. Name that tune then. <laughs> Graham Swift's got the hole in the moon for the Brigadoon. All oh, right, shall I write him down? Yeah, there's Where two the tonight. Is Where? anybody going to get ostentatious? Where's the week? Oh, John, John Harris Percy's watching. Woo-hoo-hoo! He'll love all this Irish frivolity. He get he's got the um word of the week, isn't he? But which one? He's got the um water boys, Brigadoon. Brigadoon? Yeah. Okay. And the first note was there. Okay. Robert cool. Dickinson's watching. Oh I say. Yeah. He's good at name that tune sometimes. <laughs> yeah. James Squire's Brigadoon, Water Boys, Hole of the Moon. Yeah, that's coming very soon. That first note again. It's quite a high note, isn't it? Joe Stone's got it already. No oh way. Oh my God. No way. He's a first noter. No way. Oh my Lord. He gets a he gets a champion's cup, doesn't he? And so Stephen Johnson right after, but no. Joe got it first. What is it? Whiskey in the jar. <laughs> then Lizzie. I have to say that is absolutely. That's oh. Really, have Joe? You, Joe, have you been in my back garden? Yeah. Have you? All that practicing I did, I didn't need any of it. <laughs> Just one note. And somebody else, Stephen. Stephen Johnson came in second. We'll put you down, Stephen. Yeah. Uh, I say, you'll have to do another one. And we're going to sing happy birthday to Steve Garside in a minute. Yes. So here we Whoops. go. We got oh, I'm caught in your strap. <laughs> so you clear to hear. I got caught in your strap. I should say, before I forget, yeah. um, uh, Stephen just said about Bolded on a Hugh. And uh, of course, I don't know if he remembers, but my mum and dad used to sing that because um, yeah. they did they did music as well in the pubs in Ireland. So uh, that was one of my mum and dad's repertoire. Oh, Bowdoin Donahue. Yeah. Handed down, look, see? <laughs> it's a lovely song. It is, yeah. We like a bit of rollicking. Yeah. Is this a request, this one? Is it? Yeah, James Squires asked for this. Okay. And Graham Smith loves this song. It's all written by oh, Steve Gass. I heard me say his name there. He's watching. <laughs> As he popped up. So we do happy birthday after this, shall yeah, we? Yeah, yes. So, um, yeah. A, bit of Ra- a song written by Ralph <laughs> McTell, covered by The Furies. And lovely song. Right. Let's have a bit of echo, shall we? Yes, we want everything. All the, all the help we can get. All who share this room And we work hard for the cash Sleeping late on Sundays Well, I never get to mass It's a long way from Claire to here It's a long way from Claire to here It's a long, long way it gets further by the day It's a long way from Claire to Friday comes around and Terry's only into fighting Mom would like a letter home But I'm too tired for writing It's a long way from Claire to here It's a long way From Claire to here It's a long, long way And it gets further by the day It's a long way From Claire Almost breaks my heart when I think of Josephine. I told her I'd be coming home with my pockets full of green. It's a long way from Claire to here. It's a long way from Claire to here. 
It's a long, long way It gets further by the day It's a long way from planning The only time I feel alright Is when I'm into drinking I sort of ease the pain of it Levels up my thinking It's a long way From Claire to here It's a long way From Claire to here It's a long, long way And it gets further by the day It's a long way Sometimes hear a fiddle play Or maybe it's a notion I dream I see white horses dance Upon that other ocean It's a long way From Claire to here It's a long way From Claire to here It's a long, long way it gets further by the day It's a long way from daddy It's a long way from daddy I love that That's wonderful, isn't it? James Squires is it? Ralph Mattel just lives up the road from them. He, he's a Cornwall guy, isn't he? No, he's moved. He's moved? He's moved to London. James, what did you say to him? <laughs> <laughs> he's yeah, moved he's, to London? He has. He's, he hasn't been very well. He's oh. been quite seriously ill. And um, no. he had to have treatment in London. And um, so that's where he is at the minute. And uh, he's staying there for, he kind of said, for the foreseeable future. Oh, right. But, um, yeah. But they might, I suppose they may keep their house and go down to Cornwall again, hopefully. And he's better, he's better from the treatment he had, but he's staying up in, in yeah. London for a bit. Yeah. yeah, apparently he wrote that song in 1963. Yeah. And he was, he, he used to work on a building site, apparently, Ralph Hotel <laughs> in London. And also, as with most, most building sites, there's always a few Irish builders there. And he was chatting to this guy called Michael. <laughs> Did he tell you this? He told me this, yeah. He told me this. This is true. According to Wikipedia, this is all very true. And he was chatting and he said, he said, oh my God, he said, it must be a different world to you living in London coming from, coming from Ireland. Claire. From Claire. Yeah. And he said, yes. He said, it certainly is a long way from Claire to here, he said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. I and have then, not been coaching Jim in that <laughs> accent, by the way. I don't know where he's it's, got it from. It's all my own work. Is it good? Is it any good? He said, it's a long way from Claire to here, he said. <laughs> and, that, and Ralph Mattel thought, I'm going to write that down. I'm going to use that. Write that down. That's a true story. Yeah. See the education we're given. <laughs> eh? A musical history. <laughs> right, here's a song about booze. Most, most Irish songs are either about drink or missing somewhere, or both. <laughs> aren't they? Yeah. There's a recurring theme in all these songs about going away, missing where you come from, and, and drinking too much. And this song is about drink. The rare old mountain dew, this is called. This is another another jiggy one. Yeah. So if you want to take your partner by the elbow <laughs> and, do, and do a bit of a, a swing round the lounge. Yeah. And, uh, and be careful. Be careful of the telly. <laughs> Judy said, my Irish accent needs a lot of work. Do you believe that? Huh? I think it's fine, isn't it? I think it's fine, you know. <laughs> Is it no good? <laughs> Is it no good? Tell it me. It depends. No. It depends. I shall stop doing it now, then. <laughs> I shall go away and work on it. <laughs> we move to Dublin for a couple of years. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Has anybody been to Temple Bar? Yeah, tell us. 
We went to Temple Bar in Dublin, didn't we? We did. We had, yeah. we had four nights. And we, had, we had a lovely, we didn't have a lovely apartment. We had a terrible apartment. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Just, it was the pits of the earth. But it was, it was a great position. <laughs> Wasn't it? It was right on the river. Jim booked it. I butched, but, butched it. He butched it. <laughs> <laughs> I booked it. It looked very nice in the photos on Airbnb for £30 a night. <laughs> what <laughs> could be much? wrong with this? That much? It was right near um, Haypenny Bridge, I think it's called. Which is right by Temple Bar. It was convenient. It was in the, Well, when you could get the front door open to get into the, the shared hallway. <laughs> <I know. laughs> It yeah. was convenient, I'll say that. It was great. But I don't think I don't think the cleaners had been able to find it. No, they couldn't get in the door. Could they? <laughs> but we did. We, we walked across the bridge on the first night, and we come to this first pub, and it, and it said, live Irish music, seven nights a week. And we thought, oh, my God, that's great. <laughs> but then we walked past every pub, and every pub said, live Irish music, seven nights a week. It did, indeed. It was amazing. It was, there was music yes. everywhere, every night. Yes, till two in the morning. But it was quite repetitive. We listened to the, the whiskey, whiskey in the jar and the Irish Rover probably about a hundred times <laughs> in four nights. Yeah, but it was great fun, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Yeah, lovely atmosphere. Seven pound a pint. Yes, it's kind of like, I would say, it's like, it's like the Disneyland of Ireland, <laughs> isn't it? That is indeed. James Squire said they were planning to go to Dublin last year, but it didn't happen for some reason. Oh. Can't think why. Yeah, we'd love to go back, wouldn't we? We would, because there's so much to see as well, isn't there? And then he fainted. I ordered finds a pint of beer, and he said, that would be seven pounds, he said. <laughs> 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 How um, much? <laughs> I fainted. It's like Switzerland prices. It was amazing. <laughs> Didn't stop me drinking, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was, the mo that was the reason why he booked the, the ten pound a night apartment, I think. <laughs> Because he knew it was going to be seven pound a pint. Yeah. And there's me drinking Coca Cola, which wasn't much cheaper. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Here we go. Rero Mansion Jew. Thank you very much. 
Susan Bowman said she loved Ireland and we kissed the Blarney Stone. God, did you kiss Daniel O'Donnell though? I bet she did. Tell us. Tell us if you kissed Daniel O'Donnell. I bet. Stephen Johnson said the price of a pint in Temple Bar is extortionate. <laughs> Erica says, love the Dublin pints. You can pull your own pint of Guinness. Oh, it's gone. At the table in your own personal pump, I think it said. Oh. We nearly forgot to, um, well, we did forget to sing Happy Birthday to Steve. Oh, Let's yeah. do it now. Yeah. So if you can all join in, we'll sing Happy Birthday to Steve Garside. Start off gently and go big. <laughs> Susan Bowman said, no, I didn't. I was too young. Oh, you too young to kiss him. <laughs> Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday dear Steve Happy birthday to you We're going big One, two, one, two, three Said, I remember last year at the Iron List at St. Patrick's Night, great fun. Oh. That was our last gig. This is actually the anniversary of the last time we played a gig. It was the 15th of March last year. We did an Irish night in there, and little did we know that was going to be our last gig for a long, long time. It was. It was. And here we are, a year later. Oh my God. Hmm. When will it end? Yeah. We never thought when we uh, started doing the live stream. With our old iPhone 6, I must say, <laughs> we started in the lounge. <laughs> um, we never thought that it was going to be uh, lasting quite this long. We had yeah. visions of we had visions of it all being sorted out by the summer and that we'd be back at gigs and and uh, it, it kind of came as, as quite a surprise <laughs> that we uh, we were doing the the tossing up of the dates last week and we thought, my gosh, we're almost a year. Of live streaming, so it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Yeah, I can remember the next morning, on a Monday morning, I went down and got the gear from the pub, and I thought I've got to ring all the pubs. So I rang all the pubs and said, "We think we're going to have a month off," and then see how it's looking after that. <laughs> Optimistic to the yeah. end. Yeah. And it's funny because I rang the Bullers, I rang everybody else, and I said, "We're going to have a month off," and they said, "Oh yeah, yeah, we understand that." And I rang the Bullers, and the young young guy who was running it at the time. <laughs> I said, we, we decided we're going to have a month off and see how it's looking. He said, why is that then? <laughs> <laughs> I said, you've heard about this pandemic? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, yeah, yeah. Oh. I think it'll be all right. It's going. <laughs> well, I think a lot of Little people, did we know. A lot of people thought yeah. it was going to be all right. Yeah. You know, and a lot of people were saying, because we could have played the, we had a St. Patrick's Night gig on the Tuesday. Day. I don't know what day of the week it is, but it's supposed to be, we yeah. had a St. Patrick's yeah. Night gig booked and we cancelled it because about a million people had told us they were coming and there was people down staying from up country that were coming and we thought, mm. oh my God, we can't risk all these people together from all over the That's place. That's right. And that was why we cancelled it. Ah. Graham Smith said, soon be back, seven pound a pint probably. <laughs> <laughs> all the pubs trying to make the money up. Yeah. Ah. When will it happen? Is there, have we got any kind of pricks of the week this week? <laughs> has anybody had their injection injection last week? Or um, I don't think anybody's got ostentatious yet, have they? No. They might have, they might have slipped by. Yeah. If you got it, tell us again, because if the comments are going by too quick while we're singing, Jim can't can't see them. No. Ostentatious. Do you know I thought I was going to get this? This is my clue. So I give a clue? Yeah. I thought Tim would get this. Ooh. I thought Tim Kirby would get this. Ostentatious. Mm. But there you go. Maybe he has. Maybe he's got it already. Lily the Pink says Harry Leather. <laughs> Here we go then. So we're going to do the Water Boys, the Hole of the Moon. This is a request, isn't it? Mary Poppins says Joe Stoneman. 
ostentatious. Sounds super, like something that might be super colour. Fantastic, <laughs> silly, ostentatious. <laughs> right. Jackie and Neil both had a brick yesterday. Oh. And it was on your wedding anniversary, wasn't it? <laughs> Joint prick on their wedding anniversary. Becky had a prick on her wedding anniversary. Sorry, apologise for that. Category? I love that. I think it is. Tim got the um, ostentatious. Okay. It was the Soul Doctors, which is coming later. Oh, 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 I used to love her, I used to love her once. Yep, you right a long, that. long time ago. Right. Tim. Right, should we have the rude anagram? It's, yep. it's only slightly rude this week. Okay, we're worried about getting complaints now, so we've, we've toned it down a bit. Toned it down. 
So it is, it is, it is, it is. Right, and don't forget, this, there's an Irish theme to everything. So, so tonight's anagram is Dean's Willy Idea. What? <laughs> Dean's Willy Idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make of that what you will. See if you can work that one. Oh, Kim Whitaker's just come in while I'm saying that. <laughs> so we're going to do a lovely song from Christy Moore. Somebody asked for Christy Moore. And um, we're going to do Ride On. Gosh. Lovely song. A song about tractors. <laughs> Ride On Tractors. <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> Joe Stone said Andy Williams. No. He saw the willy and he, he thought, I'll get Williams in. Could have been, couldn't it? Give it a go. It's that kind of, yeah. It is that kind of. Mm -hmm. It's not. No. Is another curb you're going to get it? <laughs> Christy Moore. If I see it flash up. I'll have to look at the screen a little bit in this one. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, the answer might come off and we'll miss it. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Careful how you go, though. <laughs> I know, it's a different song. Peter Hawkins has just popped in. Ah, hello, Peter. Hello, Peter. Happy St. Patrick's, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to keep drinking all week now. <clears throat> yeah, yes. Yes, because it didn't fall on a Sunday, we had to, uh, we had to do it today. So uh, we'll have to keep celebrating until the real day comes around. Is anybody drinking something Irish tonight? Mary said she's having an Irish coffee on a school night. Gosh. Is everybody drinking Guinness or Jameson's or... Let us know if you're kind of Irish themed and you're drinking. I could never go with you no matter how I wanted to. I could never go with you no matter how I wanted to. 
much. Thank you. Gosh, it's very serious, isn't it? Very serious. <laughs> Tom says he's on the Guinness. Oh, I see. Philippa says she's on Mac Shiraz. <laughs> Mac Shiraz. James Squire is planning on having a Bailey's later. I thought you were going to say baby. A baby. <laughs> That's too baby. much information. <laughs> Are you planning on having a baby later, James? <laughs> that would be very Irish, wouldn't it? That's gone down very well. Philippa said, how beautiful is that? Keep it in, said Joe Stoneman. A lovely song, says Tim Kirby. Just fantastic, says Peter Hawkins. Andy Mitchell's giving us the clap. <laughs> James Squire's very nice. It's a lovely song, isn't it? Yeah, I love that. I love this kind of minor chords and that kind of tune. It's beautiful. Yes, it's haunting. It's haunting. It's a haunting melody. It's one of his most famous Christy Holmes songs. Mm. We're definitely a change of mood now. We're going to do the rattling bog. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. From the sublime to the ridiculous. It is. <laughs> yeah, so this is a, this is called an accumulative song. It might be. It is. Might be. <laughs> I don't remember it or not. It is, and uh, and it's a, a song which which gathers a verse each time. So in case you haven't heard it before, we're going to add a, a, an item in each verse and then count backwards. So get ready to uh, to sing along. Yeah. Don't listen too carefully. <laughs> that time too, says Graham Smith. Oh. He's after a rattling bog. He is. He likes a bit of rattling bog. Tell us if you know what a rattling bog is. <clears throat> what does rattling mean in I in I Ireland then? Yeah, a lot rattling. of people. A lot of people might think it's to do with with the sound, and it's not. No. Will anybody know? Do you think? Yeah, Stephen will know. Yeah. Yeah, Mary will know. Oh well, yeah, Mary says she's on the Irish coffee still. Yeah. You, you planning on a sickie tomorrow, Mary? You're gonna wreck. <laughs> Ring in. A duvet day. A duvet day. Yeah. Yeah. Don't pile up some snow in front of your front door. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, she'll be there. She's a trooper. Right, the rattling bomb then. I'm definitely not going to look at the screen during this. I thought it could be a disaster. Yeah. A train toilet, says Graham Smith. <laughs> <laughs> a rattling bomb. A rattling bomb. It's um, not a train toilet. But it should be. <laughs> <coughs> Nobody's got the anagram yet. We won't talk about that. No. I'm not distracting myself with all that frivolity. Yeah, don't put, if you get the answer to the anagram, don't put it in now uh, because I won't be looking. he won't be looking at the screen and, yeah. and someone and you, will steal it from you. We'll give you a clue after this. So don't answer during this. We'll give you a clue at the end of this. A big clue. Yeah. Right. <coughs> Walking on sunshine. What? 
a twig, a red twig, a rattling twig, twig on a branch and a branch on a limb, on a limb on a tree, in the tree in the hole, hole in the bog, in the bog down in the valley, oh, 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 the rattling bog, bog down in the valley, oh, 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 the rattling bog, bog down in the valley, oh, how we doing out there? Twig. There was a nest, a rare nest, a rattling nest, a nest on a twig, and a twig on a branch, and a branch on a limb, and a limb on a tree, and a tree in the hole, and the hole in the bog. Walk down in the valley, oh, 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 the rattling bog. Walk down in the valley, oh, 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 the rattling bog. Walk down in the valley, oh. How we doing out there? And in that nest there was a bird, a rare bird. it was. Ah, oh, excellent stuff. Oh, Kathy's top, topless twin got it. <laughs> topless. Stephen Johnson said, Alison's favourite song of the night. Oh. So far. <laughs> Andy Mitchell said, Rattling, a splendid bog. <laughs> He's right. I wonder what I was going to say. He's right. Oh, Joe Stone was nearly going to get it. He was on the cusp. He was on the cusp. Daniel Day-Lewis. I was reading about him, and I think he's... Is he the only actor to ever won three Oscars for leading actor? Mm. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think he might be. Mm. Daniel Day-Lewis. Mm. Yeah, it seems like he makes a movie and wins an Oscar. That's what he does. Mm. Yeah, great actor. I might be wrong. I know nothing. Tell me. Don't ask me. Check your Wikipedia columns. <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis, yeah. Erica, she does win a few, doesn't she? She does, yes. She has, she's got form. <laughs> she's got form? She has. She's won a few things this year. Your topless twin has got My form. My topless twin. <laughs> yes, she has. She said, I've won something at last. Yes. Oh. Yes. At first she said, I've won something. <laughs> Oh my lord, you've been on the wine, Erica. <laughs> Have you? Is that a Freudian slap? <laughs> well done, Erica, says Mandy. Well done, Erica, says Phil. Oh, they're very generous, aren't they? They are. Oh. So, what, have we, what else have we got to come? I've forgotten the time and everything. What time is it? Somebody tell us. 22 minutes past 22. No way. It's 10 to 10. Ooh. 
only two minutes. Oh my god, are we gonna get all the songs in? We know. Right, we were gonna do um Bantry Bay. Oh yes, how nice. We're gonna have a little swap brand now. We're gonna have yeah. a little swap in. We are. <laughs> we like swapping, Jim and I. Gosh. Don't we? Yes. Yeah. This is all very interesting. We now. did a we did a uh, a song during the week, uh, the Galway Girl, which is on YouTube now, um, with my Totnes twin. <coughs> Your Totnes twin. My Totnes twin. Hold on while I just oh. just have a little skip. This is a bit highly strung. This from. Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh. mind my hernia. Mind your hernia, Jim. Right, let's go. Kathy's going. Kathy's going to sing you a song now. It's like Laura and Hardy. It's great, isn't it? 175. Is that all? Oh, hold on. Yeah. Hold on, I'm moving it round the front. Gosh. Don't bash it and put it out of tune. Oh, like that. And, uh, is this called Bantry Bay? Oh, there's all sorts of names, and they star of the county down. <coughs> Actually, Van Morrison's done this, isn't it? This, this will count as the Van Morrison song. So these are uh, slightly different words to probably the version you might have on your uh, on your copy of it if you've got it at home. Erica said she'll be signing autographs later. <laughs> yes. Look at this. I should have a bow. Is this? I didn't. I think I might have turned this. I turned it down here, didn't I? So it didn't. Yeah. What a bow. Thank you. I've been worked, you can. It's a bit tight for Jim, that, isn't it? Where's me bow? It's like a violin. <laughs> Philippa says, hooray, somebody else is singing for Jim. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Just a bandish town in the county down on an evening in July. Down alone the lonely street with my girl so near. Smiled as she passed me by. She looked as bright as the step was light as the lap of the springtime hair. And I closed my eyes in a wild surprise to make sure I was standing there. From Bantry Bay down to Derry Cave, from Galway to Dublin Town. Not a girl I see like a sweet Colleen that I met to the county now. Can't hear the drum. <laughs> Oh, 
Yes, yeah, we well. should have thought about that. I, I played my own guitar there, so I had the scrapple <laughs> all set up for myself. But it's funny, sometimes in the pub, uh, if I sing uh, on a folk night um, and Jim will pass me his guitar, and it's down around my knees because of where he has the strap. Oh, right, time for the Saw Doctors. Oh, yes. Yes. The Saw Doctors. Is this for Bridget? Is this Bridget's request? I don't know. Tim loves this one. Oh, does it? I think a lot of people like this now. Oh, yeah. One of those songs that grows on people. That was divine, Cathy, says Lorraine. <laughs> Thank you, Lorraine. I'm going, to, a, I'm going to cut the first verse off. Where what I was, a fantastic voice, Kathy. I was singing out of time. No, you were good. <laughs> Mandy said you should have a slot every week, Kathy. <laughs> that's, that's what all the girls say. Yes. <laughs> When's the last time you had a slot? Oh, God. <laughs> Too long ago. <laughs> oh. Brilliant. Right. I used to love her. This is a bit rude, this. Yes. It's got the word. It's got lots of words. <laughs> I nearly said it and I thought I would it's got the A word in. It's got ostentatious in it. It has the A word in, but it's only in the um, first verse, I think, if I remember rightly. Yeah, we love the Saw Doctors. They, they put great humour in their, in their songs, don't they? They're fantastic. We're very lucky to see the Saw Doctors. Very good. Right, let's take that off, put that on. Here we go, G. Do you want the drum back down to where it... <laughs> He's standing in a different place, so it's too loud for him. Peter Organ said that was beautiful, Kathy. <laughs> I have fallen for another, she can make her own way home. When she went to Sunday Mass When she go to her seat I knew down there and watch her pass Glory of her ass Oh, I used to love her I used to love her once Long, long time ago I used to love her I used to love her once Long, long time ago has gone Turn on Christmas Eve. She was on a 40 and a fast, just water and black tea. I went straight up the made an ostentatious contribution. I went to her to tell her I seduce her in the future. I was feeling looser. Oh, I used to love her, I used to love her once. A long, long time ago, I used to love her. I used to love her once. A long, long time ago, it's gone. All my loving is gone. Oh, oh, it's gone. All my loving is gone. So now you know the truth of it. She's no longer my obsession. Thoughts of her I had, but it would take six months in confession. I met this young one Thursday night She sent him free expression Her mission is to rid this world Of this sinful repression And then we had a session Oh, I used to love her I used to love her once A long, long time ago I used to love her I used to love her once A long, long time ago it's gone All my love is gone is gone. All my love is gone. I have fallen for another. She can make her own way home. Oh. Oh, James Squire's on the Baileys now. Great words, that song. He said we can write off tomorrow. <laughs> Oops, a daisy. Oh dear. Oops, a daisy. Ah, the glory of her. We. <laughs> Timothy Kirby says, massive, brilliant, gigantic, epic song. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Gosh. Yeah. Should we have spot the intro? We better. Yeah. We're going to run out of time. Yeah. 
Everybody's going to know this one. I've got my big pen ready. It's got an Irish theme, remember? Yes. Get ready to write. We need the band and band the song. And the song. That's the rules. Or the song and the we band. We don't make up the rules. <laughs> you can say it. Oh, John Perrin's just come in for spot the intro. <laughs> oh, my God. He heard me say it. He did. Right. Just write his name down there. <laughs> That's not fair to everyone else. He's outside. That's not I can fair. see him. He's like, John, get out. <laughs> Get out from our, our doorway. <laughs> right, here we go then. Spot the intro. I'm ready. There's another little riff in there. Somebody's typing, I can see it moving John, up. John Bloody Perrin. <laughs> Is your middle name Bloody? <laughs> Is he? Has he got it? It's John Perrin. He comes in and steals the glory. <laughs> oh, oh, Judy no. Davis, Abby Uni, Thin Lizzie, Jailbreak. Oh, Joe no. Stoneman, Thin Lizzie, James Squires, Jailbreak, Thin Lizzie. How's he doing? He's outstanding in his field, isn't he? I think he's outstanding in, the, in our field. In our <laughs> <laughs> oh my Are you Lord. in the field behind us? I think he is. I think he's in the, he's in the field behind our house. Tim Kirby's got it. Uh, well done, well done, John. Right, we're going to have a Thin Lizzy song now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, all Irish bands tonight, and um, all Irish songs. Or, uh, we've done a bit of everything, a bit of kind of pop. A bit of rock, a bit of traditional, a bit of idly fiddly. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're back on time now. We're going to get all the songs in. I thought we were going to have to miss one, but we could. But we haven't done back to front lyrics. Should we no. drop that or have it? I don't know. See, see what time it is when we do this. Well, I think you should do it because for anyone who's been looking in every week, um, yeah. he always tests all these things on me, and I haven't been able to get back to front lyrics, not even once. Mm. But this week, when he tested it on me, I got it right away. You so did? I think it's quite an easy one, so we should do it. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. did see Phil Lynott's um, statue, didn't we? We did. In Dublin. <laughs> we did. Wonderful statue, isn't we it? We had a oh, little photograph great. of us, of us standing beside him. Yes, it's huge. It's actually quite, it's kind of like a life-size big bronze statue. So this was 1977 this song came out. So here's a little question for you then. How many, how many number ones did Thin Lizzy have in the UK? Mm. In the UK. Andrew yeah. Baker might know that. Yeah. Right, see if you know. Right. So we're going to have a little job and then bring in the bass and then away we go. Well, that, oh yeah, if you wish. I, I think listen. we should all start together, I yeah. think. Just listen to the job, see if you think it's the right tempo. Yeah. This has got one of the great lines, I think. I always get chocolate stains on my pants. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um, yes, yes. Hands up if you had chocolate stains on your pants. I have. I have this week. <laughs> I have. I was eating some I was eating some chocolate and I was sitting on the settee and some of the crumbs went down. And when I stood up, there was all <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to get something rude now. I suddenly realised that. I'm sure somebody's going to say something rude about that.
song says Joe. Oh, probably the best song says Joe. Dance in the Moonlight, love it. Oh. Love David Oliver says no, oh. none. They'd have no number ones. Really? Yeah, amazing. Ooh. Amazing. They did have a couple in Ireland, apparently, a couple whiskey in the jar. But none, none in the UK. That's incredible, isn't it? Like, <laughs> Sorry, have... I didn't fall over there. I dropped my pen. You've been on the Jamesons, have you? I wish. <laughs> I wish. All right, let's have back to front lyrics. This is very over. easy. Yeah. This is a song that we've played a million times. Yes. And you've probably heard us play it a million times. Here we go. See if you, see if you can get the, what this is then. Right. It's about thinking, overcome, I'm sometimes Lord. They're back memory, my cast. So I do it in my Shakespeare voice. <laughs> no. I could do it in my Irish accent. Oh, gosh. Shall I? I know he's got it yet. It's about thinking. Overcome, I'm sometimes Lord. <laughs> They're back memory, my cast. It's only good. What? what? Which, which, which was that my Shakespeare? That? <laughs> that was Northern Ireland, wasn't it? Brown Eyed Girls is John Perry. <laughs> he's going to make him so very unpopular. Here at the White Road Run. Yeah. Yep. Cast my memory back, the Lord. Sometimes I'm overcome thinking about it. Yeah. John's got double points then. Double points. He comes in for the last ten minutes. <laughs> wins it all. <laughs> He's got double points. <laughs> right, we're going we're gonna to finish with the Irish Rover. He's got double points, he has. Is well it? done. I think he deserves a... <laughs> Absolutely. Who are well, you? Yeah, well done, yeah. John. Yeah, I got that one. So everybody should have got that one if I got it. Timothy Kirby just said it. I didn't get any of the others over the last few weeks. Not a single one. I was mm. amazed that anybody got it. Is anybody going to be pogoing out there? <laughs> yeah. Yes. The Blue Anchor in Blue Brixton. Anchor in the Blue Anchor. We used to play there. We played there every Saturday for about 16 years. And... Uh, there was a big crowd used to come in and they used to demand that we play the Irish Rover at the end of the night. Mm. And, uh, and the landlady said, well, we're going to have to get the floor reinforced because things were falling into the cellar from below the carpet. 
where everybody would all put their arms around each other in a circle and jump and pogo to the Irish Rover. It was great fun. <laughs> It's going to happen all around the country now, all around the world. We pogo it. They are. Oh, uh, it's just mental. And uh, and I can remember watching the floor and thinking, it looks like it's really going down in the middle. And thinking, how hard would it be to jump onto the seat? There was a seat behind us in the window. Oh yeah. And I should think, if that carpet goes and everybody falls into the cell, yeah. maybe I need to be ready to jump onto the seat. <laughs> Or else I'm going down there with them. <laughs> oh, gosh. They're great nights, weren't they? Great nights. Yeah. Right, here we go. The Irish Rover. You going to sing this with me? Yeah, sing, yeah, I've been singing everything with you. Yeah, this is my favourite night so far of the year. Yeah. It's great. Right, here we go. In C. Yeah. Is this last song? Yeah. Is it? Last song, everybody. Oh. Spencer's pogo days are long gone. No! In the year of our Lord, 1806, we set sail from the sweet cold of Mark. We were sailing away with a cargo of bricks by the Grand City Hall in New York. She was a wonderful crowd, she was rainbow and She had 27 masks and they called her the Irish
Have we been drowning dog noises? Plug. 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 Bark. Plug. <laughs> Two, three, I'm the last of the Irish. Songs have we, how many times have we sung that song? Well, and it's still just few. as fresh as anything. Quite a few. Not, not ever this year, though. Not ever this year. <laughs> it's, just the first, it's the first time we've got it out this year. First time we've got it out this year. Yes. Well, we don't do it that often, anyway, do we? <laughs> we don't, do we? The innuendos are coming late tonight. <laughs> first time we've got it out all year. Sometimes we do it with Mark, <laughs> don't we? What, three in the bed? On the fiddle. Mark on the, on the violin. Well, Alan Gorman's Mark talking Walker. Irish out here. Yes. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to translate that and see if it's being nice or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maggie Peach, remembering the Blue Anchor days with, with the gang back then. With the what? The gang. gang back. <laughs> <laughs> with the what? Gang back then. The gang back then. Not okay. the gang bang then. That, unless that was a different night. Gosh. <laughs> well, yes. Oh, my it God. was really good fun. And it's what a funny fun. thing that, of course. No one had uh, mobile phones then, so there's no video of it or anything. It's a great show. It would have been amazing, wouldn't it? It was just crazy fun. Yeah. So random, though, wasn't it? It was. Such good fun. I don't know. Ah, oh, right, there we go. That's, that's I, all the Irish songs done for the year again. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's great fun, isn't it? Yes. So where are we going to be next St. Patrick's Night? Are we going to be back in the pub? Oh. <laughs> are we still going to be doing this? Who knows? Tell us what you think. Oh my God! Uh, how many yeah. weeks until we have a year? Is it? Is this number fifty? Yeah, we've got two more. 50? Two more weeks, and we've we'll have done a year of stream. It's stream number fifty. So yeah, no. yeah, two more. You've all done very well to put up yes, with it. They have. <laughs> they have. We did look back at the earlier stream. One of the first was it was only like twenty five minutes. <laughs> it was funny. It was in the lounge, standing behind the piano. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> With a laptop, really bad microphone in the laptop. Yeah. See how um, better we've got. <laughs> Fifty-two t attempts, and we're starting to get it now. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, Alan yeah. Goran said that was good night, all in Irish. Oh, um, thank you, Alan. Thank you. Great fun. Are we got the winners. Oh yes, yes. Sorry. Now it's over two pages. Two. <laughs> It's two pages tonight oh, because no. we had two winners for Word of the Week. Oh my God. And then we had all the other. Oh, so uh, it starts there, yeah? Yes. Right, I'm ready. So first thing was Stephen. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm good. I'm good to go. Get ready for your hallelujahs. All right, make the most of it out there. Just first in is Stephen Johnston. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Favoritism there, I think, but no. in the family, yeah, no. little, it's little, my cousin. There's gonna be words said about that. <laughs> there's gonna be questions in the house. No. Name that tune was Joe Stoneman. Wow, oh, in oh. one, Joe got it in one. I know, amazing. One note, one note. We only ever had one note that was Tracy Lendon way back, yeah, one of the first ones. So he joins Tracy Lendon on the podium, the special, get, the special one noters. I know. Do you get a billion points for that? I think so. Yeah. So Anagram was Erica. Wow. Oh, my topless twin. My topless twin, yeah. <laughs> yes. Spot the intro was John Perrin. Wow. Really? Oh, well done, John. And back to front lyrics was John Perrin. Oh, <laughs> double whammy. Yes. So word of the week. Graham Graham had it with Brigadoon. Yes. Oh, and Tim Kirby had it with Ostentatious. Oh, is that a car? <laughs> you ever driven an ostentatious? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my Lord. Oh, Lord. Back in the pubs is Phil Kirby. Yeah. Next year, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, my okay. Lord. Well, thank you very much for joining us for our St. Patrick's <laughs> Night. Look at this, though. Hey? Oh, oh, the bunting, yes. Should we have our Irish music yes. tonight? Leave us as well. Yes, we will. 
So you can have a little Irish dance out there. <laughs> We're going to finish off with our Irish music. Okay. The top of the evening to you. It's very short. Pardon? <laughs> Don't tell everybody that. It's very short, so get ready. Yeah. Good luck if you're having the prick this week. Yes. Yes, there's a few people. Yeah, a few people getting injected this week <laughs> to be safe, to be going out again. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's have it. Are Let's you ready? Be having it. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Stand back, ladies. Here it is. <laughs> I love that. Let's have a drink. I used to do Irish dancing. And this is one of the tunes that I, uh, that I used to dance to. Yes. Wonderful, isn't it? I do, yes. The Irish washerwoman. I've got loads of medals for Irish dancing. <laughs> oh, no. How long have we got? One second. I'll get me 